Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And this is a very spontaneous video. Hadn't planned on doing this video, but like I do so often, I'm out here in the shop, kind of hanging out and just looking over everything, thinking about things. And this question popped into my mind. So I thought, you know what? I'll make a quick video. I'll get your guys' opinion. So I do want as many opinions as I possibly can get on this video. So please chime in if you have a thought, if you have an opinion. Um, and, and please tell me why. Go into detail a little bit about why you feel the way you feel or what stance you take on this subject. Um, Normally when I try to sell vehicles, I, you know, I price them up a little bit more than what I actually want and then I'll let someone talk me down. And I know when I go to look at a vehicle, I will obviously take my haggling skills and put them to work and, and try to get someone down a little bit off the price or what have you. But um, I noticed like, like with the GT500, I put it up for sale maybe about a month ago and I said I want 30,000 firm. That is I'm firm, I'm not budging. I put in bold letters, firm in the ad. And still, I would have people coming in at, okay, 25, 26, 27, 28, even 29. It's like, no, I'm telling you, I'm not going a penny below this. This is what I want. And um, it's kind of the same thing with the last video when I was, I was talking about getting rid of either the Lightning or the HD. I uh, haven't had anybody hit me up from the video as far as that goes, but either one, 20,000. It doesn't matter which, whichever truck you want, it's going to be 20,000. I'm firm. I'm not going to budge on that price. My question to you is, is that a good thing? Is that a good tactic? Do you appreciate knowing that, hey, this is a firm price, uh, the person is not budging off this price, or do you prefer to have it priced up a little bit more and be able to talk them down, you know, a little bit of percentage or whatever and say, oh, yeah, he wanted this much and I got it for that much or what have you. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, me personally, to me, when I see firm in an ad, I respect that and I'm certainly not gonna make offers over the internet. Now, I might go out and look at a vehicle, especially if I know it's been for sale for a while, you know, I might try to do the old trick, well, are you really firm on the price, or is there any wiggle room? I'm standing here right now, I've got cash in hand or whatever, but pretty much if I go to look at the vehicle and I know it's a firm price, I'm gonna respect that, and I'm not gonna be rude about it, I'm just gonna say, hey, okay, I'm kind of expecting this is what I'm gonna pay, I'm prepared for what, this is gonna, what I'm gonna pay, and I don't know, I can appreciate both, I guess, both, viewpoints and both ways of doing things so but again i'm just one person i want to hear from you guys so please let me know um since the last video on the lightning and the hd i haven't had anybody really contact me off of the um the video as far as interested in buying the vehicle which before i was like i had tons of people that want to buy the lightning right now i know it's not a really great time the weather's not the greatest and i just did the video obviously i don't get a ton of views so i do know that uh, a buddy of mine who was interested in the Lightning before said he was interested in it again, but um, I, I don't know if he's gonna buy it or not. I mean, you know, people talk, even friends, they talk about it, yeah, I want it, that type of thing. But when it comes down to actually paying the money and, and doing the deal, that's a different story. So we'll see what happens. I do know for sure that before I leave, one of these trucks is gonna go. And like I said, I still got over a year, so I've got plenty of time but one of these trucks is gonna go. I'm not really too picky on which one goes, but I do know either one's $20,000, I don't care. I'd probably be smarter to keep the HD. I still feel that way, and I've already kind of set things in motion to start doing some things I wanna to do to this truck to make it more my own, things I talked about in the last video. But there again, if this one sells, I'm happy to keep the Lightning. It is such a badass truck, no problems at all there. And I will end up selling the GT500 before I go, but again, no hurry, don't need to do it right now. So whenever, but again, it's gonna be $30,000 for that car. I think that's more than a fair price. And um, I, I think I'm fair in all aspects based on what I've seen out there for sale. So we'll see what happens there. Um, you know, another thing, talking about moving, it, I, I kind of went back and forth with this, with this and I was talked about like my place here and I've had a lot of people ask me about my place and really wanting to buy it. More people are wanting to buy this place. So I am considering that as an option as opposed to renting it there are pros and cons to each one of them, certainly, but I am considering maybe um, selling it. So we'll see what happens with that. I do, again, have a friend that asked me a long time ago about it, and I did kind of give him the whole green light. Hey, if we can make it work, the numbers work and everything like that, and we can work it out between us, then yeah, I would, I would be willing to sell it. So we'll see how that goes. But again, I know I've had a lot of people hit me up, so I probably need to start getting a list of people together and getting their names and numbers and things like that, seeing where they're at just to start preparing, because I, I like to prepare, what can I say? So anyway, again, chime in on your thoughts. 
haggle, no haggle, I would really love to hear. Um, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. PO Box and Instagram, as always, will be in the description below. Guys, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.